Here we are, day one in Andorra. Correct, yes. So it's a pit setup day, but it's also clean up and get bikes ready for this race day. Correct, correct. So, you know, the last run you did, it was at restaurant, so the bike is pretty perfect. But we're going to uh, New Color this weekend, so unfortunately, I got to build another bike. Uh, so Andorra is going to be a, a new frame, so I'm just starting to build a new frame for Loris. So yeah, it's basically, uh, we arrive, we put the pits up, day zero, get back to zero. So um, yeah, we put the pits up. We're just trying to get bikes so they're they're rolling and yeah, get downhill bikes ready for the rest of the week. Yeah, especially these ones where you two weeks in a row. Um, yeah, we're rocking up with number boards still on last week's bike and still not 100% sure where we're at. So yeah, it's a uh, always a fair bit of work on the first couple of days, but yeah, we'll get it done and then into some fun practice a bit later in the week. I mean, we're pretty cleaned up from last week. Kind of as you as you pack down you kind of try and put it away as, as clean as you can and it wasn't really rainy last week so it wasn't too bad and then yeah it's just putting everything back together again and in this heat it uh, takes a little bit longer than it normally would. The toughest thing to do is actually put the roof up but it's the best thing to do because then you, at least you've got some shade and then obviously if it's raining at least you're covered from the, from the wet. So yeah first thing up and then start, start getting everything out and making everything look nice. Yeah, we've got a lot of work to do today, so it's good to be here a little bit early and just get some stuff done and um, yeah, we'll get it all firing, but we've got to set up two pits today as well, so it's a bit of a different setup process for us, but it's good, yeah. What do you call today even? I don't really know, like pre-preparation, pack down essential mix day, I don't know. Yeah, we'll just make it happen and get, get what we can get done and go from there. Eddie Masters. How are you? Mr. You, John Waller. Can you tell me what's happening on, on a day like today? Uh, we're doing everyone's favourite job, which is setting up the pits. Um, yeah, it's probably one of my favourite parts about a race week. But we're looking smart and our yeah. bike tracks polos. Thanks, guys. We love golf. Uh, we come here in the morning, um, find out where we're supposed to be pitted, um, and then basically put up the whole pit. But this week we've got another pit down the bottom as well. So. Uh, we won't spend much time in here this week. This is just to look good, I think. Um, we'll spend most of our time at the bottom of the track and then maybe even work out the apartment. It's just so far between both of them that we'll just come here in the morning, get everything we need, and then go straight down to the bottom. Yeah, so explain for people who don't know that it's quite spread out this week. It's going to be a little bit of a cluster. Yeah, so because of the new track, um, because we can't finish in the town, um, it's, a bit, it's a bit far in between, so they've given us another pit at the bottom which is just an easier um, so most people will be working out of there but for the guys that aren't down the bottom out of the track then oh, it's going to be a nightmare for them getting from between the track and here i think there's two lifts to get to the track um, yeah we don't really know what's going on yet but we'll find out as the week goes on uh well today is tuesday and it's setup day so we're pretty lucky that's the fortunate thing about these back-to-back -back races sometimes it's a little tight or hectic trying to get to the next one in time but with this one we can and so today's just setup day really that's the other thing too switzerland was nice and dry uh, it didn't take a toll on the bikes whatsoever not even a flat tire so not too much work not a big day ahead of us tomorrow so yeah we can just spend all day today kind of tweaking on the pit we can clean some rugs knock some dust off of things it's been collecting and clean the vans out, maybe do a little parts inventory for the end of the year so we know where we're at and um, you know, use the time wisely, so it's nice. It's the big circus day of setting it all up. <laughs> yeah, build the pits today, then track work tomorrow, practice the next day. Is it a bit of a luxury, I guess, coming from a race where there's no rain or anything, you just have to kind of dust the bikes off, no big, huge maintenance jobs? Yeah, definitely, I think we're all pretty happy with that just threw the bikes in the lorry after lands are hide and um, we said yeah we'll sort them out when we get here because they're yeah as you say just a bit of dust so it shouldn't take much to get them back up and running oh i'm sorry so finn what's happening today then absolutely nothing these guys are working hard and i'm distracting them i'm actually waiting for my bike so but uh we're gonna go for a, i'm gonna go for a little spin maybe go to the gym and then uh, get ready for track walk tomorrow. Today, just uh, give the body a little kick in the ass to, to wake it up and then do some high altitude blow up and uh, yeah, start the week pretty much. Pretty excited to see how the track evolves because I walked it for the Copa Catalana and suggested some changes. So, see what I did with it. 
today is the like rebuilding the pit. We were in Lenzerheide like uh, two days ago, and now we're just like uh, basically rebuilding everything, cleaning a bit, and reorganizing like stuff for, for tomorrow. For today, we just clean the bikes, and then we do like a full rebuild and check tomorrow. Prepare some more stuff and some different changing changes for this track. It's way better than uh, <laughs> some races when it's completely muddy. Then need to basically like, clean everything, like even inside <laughs> the structure. Oh, this uh, this, this one runs fine. Yeah. So, Pia, what's your favorite tool? Oh, good question. I like my uh, Nipex. Nipex are good, and uh, those big Allen keys, so they are better. I think he's uh, really good. Yeah, Nipex and better stuff. And as well, a nice and easy toolbox to work with. If you have a toolbox that doesn't correspond with you, it doesn't work, yeah. So I've been doing this job for six years and it's my six different toolbox. So I finally made it work after six years. So yeah, it's just uh, some form and uh, like an inch like this. And just with extra things. So John Hall. What's your, what's your favorite tool? Got one here. I've showed it a few times recently. It's a 3D printed tool that Ben Arnott made me. We used to work together on the last team we were on. And um, so you pull your pads out, basically to exercise your pistons or lube your pistons so they get nice even contact and they're all four working together at the same time. So pull your pads out, drop it down in, and then um, pump your brake. And obviously two pistons will squeeze here and stop. Third piston will stop there and then one piston at a time will go to there. So Ben took the time to actually get the dimensions and everything so we can actually just pump it until that piston hits out, hits the tool, and it won't actually pop out of the caliper. So you can get maximum distance out, clean it with a Q-tip and some whatever uh, brake oil the piston requires or the brakes require. Pretty cool, nifty little tool. Um, oftentimes like our favorite tools are the ones we don't get to use as often. 